Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. You may have seen one of my videos a little while back about worms and how they like coffee grounds. Well, uh, here's another video on what worms like to eat, or what will they eat. And this is my peach tree in the backyard of the shop. You can see there's a lot of fruit on it. It's all mostly green. Now we don't eat peaches, and uh, I don't want to leave them on the tree to rot and fall off because uh, this area is starting to have issues with fruit fly. So I'm going to strip the tree and uh, I'll show you what I do with the peaches. I'll put them through a little mulcher and uh, we'll see over time if the worms like to eat them. Okay, here's a little electric mulcher I've got. Um, there, it's, there's lots of brands of these around. This is an electric model. Um, they're pretty well useless with regards to a lot of bigger mulching and shredding jobs, but I find they do a pretty good job on on things with a bit of moisture in them uh, and I do also put um, our household veggie scraps and tea bags and eggshells through avocado shells and the mulcher will actually handle the avocado seeds um, so uh, it does give me a good finer consistency to throw in the compost or to the worms now here's a bucket of peaches I've just picked um, you can see none of them are, are ripe they're all quite green and hard but this is a stage I wanted to strip the tree because I didn't want any issues with fruit fly. Um, but I do like the tree and I don't want to get rid of it. It's a nice shady tree. So I've just got to strip these peaches off. So we'll put them through the mulcher now and see how we go. So this is doing a pretty good job uh, of mulching these up. They feed through the, the top okay. And um, the blades seem to make fairly short work of them. And what's coming out the end? Uh, nice small little chips. I'll just turn this off for a minute and we'll have a look. So it's made quite a nice pulp. It's fairly moist but it's um, really ground these up very well so it'll be interesting to see what the worms think. So I'll finish this bucket and then we'll spread some in the worm farm and see how we go. Alright here's my little worm farm that I made out of pellets a while back. Um, it's a horizontal migration worm farm so I've got wire panels between each bay uh, that way I can get the worms to go uh, one way or another depending on whether I leave one dry out uh, but it's become a little testing station for me for, to see what the worms actually like to eat um, I've got a little drain at the front here it slopes forward and a bit of spouting trickles the worm juice into a pan there which goes into a, a larger 20 litre container and we can then give our potted plants a treat uh, or whatever else we decide to do with it um, so now these peaches here that I've mulched up um, I've just spread most well probably about half the bucket full in there um, this side hadn't had any food for a while um, it's had some coffee grounds a few weeks back but there's plenty of worms in here. I did dig it through. I don't know if we can see any. Oh, here, there's some there. So they haven't been fed anything in particular for a few weeks. Um, so we'll spread these peaches out over the top. I'll put a piece of carpet back over to keep it damp. And we'll check it periodically and see how they're going. Now, in my experience with um, organic stuff and food scraps, the worms tend not to touch it for a week or so. But once it starts to rot down, they hoe in so I'll check back in a week and see how they're how they're going and whether they're getting into this peach pulp and uh, I'll report back just another note before I go um, obviously the, the tree full of peaches is going to provide a lot more than what my little worm farm can handle so I've just sprinkled the rest of the bucket into this compost bin here uh, this bin has had some layers of coffee grounds and um, shredded paper and uh, I probably should put a bit of um, pea straw to give it some more carbon now that I've added a rich nitrogen source but uh, so the rest of the tree I'll, I'll mulch all the peaches up and, and add them to my various compost bins but uh, we will check back in a week or two and see how the worms are going with the other stuff okay g'day guys it's been a week and one day since I last uh, added the 
peach pulp to this worm farm to see how they go. Um, so I haven't had a chance to have a look at all. I've been very busy last week. So we'll have a peek under the carpet here and see if they've got into this this peaches. Now sorry about the sun. Whoa, look at these worms. So I would suggest that they like it. Uh, it's been as I said it's been a week and one day and look at there's no sign of the peach pulp left. And the worms I reckon the worms have come from every other bay in this uh, little worm farm and just someone's got the word out that this is tasty and they've all come along so I think that's just nearly nearly a hundred percent worms so clearly they like the peaches um, whether it's the flesh or whether it's the the kernel or the, or the peach stone that uh, they're going for but certainly this is a great way to spoke to, to dispose of uh, uh, the peaches that I didn't want to leave on the tree so we'll call this test successful totally and uh, I think I'll be feeding the worms this quite regularly when uh, when I have to dispose of peaches. I might try apricots as well. I've got an apricot tree here which I want to, to strip. Um, so yeah, there you go. Successful little experiment. I'll, uh, as I think of new things to try with these worms, we'll, we'll give it a test and you'll then know conclusively what they like and perhaps what not, not to feed them. All right, thanks for watching.